Oh my god. Where's. I need this. Oh, fuck. Okay. What is up, all my fellow Turbos? This is Steve Turbo of the Hyper Arcade Turbo Bros. Coming to you with the vlog thing, do hickey, whatever, whatnot. Oh, God. Okay. So today, or should I say tonight, we saw finally the reveal of the Jared Leto Joker for Suicide Squad. So, what did it look like? Yep. Okay, so, oh boy, I have been in some discussions tonight, we'll call them that, because um, I don't want to say full-on, like, nerd arguments and whatnot, because this is kind of a tender subject with everyone that gets involved in it. And, well, obviously, as you saw in the photo there, the Jared Leto Joker looks very, very, very different. Now, here's the thing. I'm a huge Joker fan. Right, right. I know what you're thinking. Isn't it everybody? No. I've been a fan of the Joker since I was a little boy. Like, back when I was watching the Batman show with Adam West. When I was watching the Batman animated series. I was scared shitless of the Joker when I was a child from the Batman movie that Jack Nicholson played. The Joker has always been my favorite villain. He made me laugh, and it's something that's just stuck with me throughout my life. I've been the Joker on two separate occasions for Halloween. My girlfriend dressed up as Harley. I mean, well, it's just what kind of lucky guy I am. But anyway, the thing of it all is, and, you know, a lot of people are throwing a fit about this because they're like, uh, he, the, the tattoos look stupid. He looks like Marilyn Manson. He, why does he have a grill? Why does he look like a Southern California thug? Why does he look like a dejected member of Rancid or something? Okay, look, guys, okay, calm down. Let's... Breathe in, breathe out, okay? I'm not here to tell you guys that you have to like this Joker. I'm not telling you that after you watch this video that your minds will definitely be changed. But one thing you have to know is that throughout the years, the Joker has had a ton of different looks. Some extreme and some more traditional. And that's kind of the beauty of the character. You can interpret and design him however you want. You can make him look the way you want. And as long as he is a person who is the antithesis of Batman, he, gen he generally is going to fit the mold that the character requires. So, why is everybody hot and bothered about the Jared Leto Joker? So why is everybody upset and hot and bothered about the Joker? Or at least Jared Leto Joker in this case. Well, I think the problem is, is that this particular Joker is very radically different. And when you're following up after the beloved Heath Ledger Joker, there was a very high standard that people held the character in. Now, myself personally, I don't hold the Ledger Joker in as high a regard as I do the Mark Hamill Joker or the Jack Nicholson Joker. It's just my own preference. But this Joker, again, I think people are taking their love... I think part of it, part of it, is that people are taking their love for the, leather, for the Ledger Joker and allowing it to cloud their judgment. Now, I'm not saying this Joker's perfect, but I am saying that maybe we should give him a chance. I mean, on the subject of the Ledger Joker, nobody liked the idea of Heath playing the Joker at that time. And even after the look was revealed, and a lot of people had kind of calmed down and thought, okay, maybe this could be good, there were still so many people that were like, oh, gay cowboys play Joker, look at that, his, his makeup's all smeared from kissing Batman, and... People say dumb shit like this all the time. People said it when Keaton was cast as Batman back in the day. They said it when Ledger was cast as the Joker. They said it when Chris Pratt was cast as Star-Lord. There's, it's, you're not going to please everyone every single time. So, on that subject, you know, again, I, I think that 
this Joker is coming at a very sensitive time for a lot of folks because not everybody has recovered from Heath Ledger's death, and they hold his performance in such high regard, which they have every right to. The performance was very good, but in my opinion, it wasn't the best. It was good, but not the best. So, at this point in time, I'm actually okay with what I'm going to hear for and call it Rancid Joker. I'm going to call him Rancid Joker just because he reminds me of a punk rock singer. Like, he reminds me of someone from, like, a straight-up, like, punk rock band. So, I mean, this is just one of many interpretations the character has seen. So, granted, I will admit, the damaged tattoo right here across the forehead, that's probably, honestly, the only part that I really don't like. That is kind of unnecessary, and I'm hoping they remove it from the final product. Ultimately, that's my only gripe. And another thing, guys, how long do you think he's going to be shirtless in this movie? Like, granted, I get it's Jared Leto, but he's not going to be shirtless the whole movie. So you will probably not see those tattoos the entire time. There's a very good chance that he's going to not be wearing, or he's going to be wearing his suit or something. He's not going to be shirtless the whole movie. I can guarantee you that. So I would really kind of calm yourself on that one. But, I mean... I understand why people are upset, but at the same time, again, I, I reiterate, this is just one of many incarnations that the character has seen, and it's not going to be the last by a long shot. There are probably going to be more radical interpretations of the character, and that's not going to stop, but again, as long as he is the antithesis of Batman, he is a chaotic, unpredictable psychopath who finds humor in what he does and the harm he causes to others, then guess what? He's the Joker. That's the Joker. So that's kind of the thing. As long as he fits that mold character-wise, his look will always change. He's had many different hairstyles, many different face paint jobs. He's had many different suits. He's, he's had a wide variety of changes done through him throughout the years. So this, again, is just another one in that book. So I think everyone just needs to really calm down. Because the other thing you have to realize is this is not a permanent look for him. No look he has ever had has been permanent. There will always be someone who's going to make their own take on the character. So again, you know, just take it for what it is. This is the interpretation of the Joker for this universe. For the DC Cinematic Universe, this is the Joker they're going with. Okay? This is not the end-all, be-all. You probably won't see this tatted-up Joker in... The most you're going to see him is probably in Hot Topic stores. I can guarantee you that. Is there a chance you could see him in the comics? Maybe. But I highly doubt it. So... Don't think that this is the end-all, be-all of Jokers, because it's not. It's just one. One of many. So, yeah. My best advice to you, Turbros, is just calm down and take it for what it is. And that'll be that. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Just listen to my soothing voice and know that everything is fine, my, dear, my poor dear Turbros. So, with that said, guys... We'll see where it goes. I want to see a trailer. I want to see a trailer. Because I'll be damned if everybody did not turn their turn their opinion around when they finally saw Batfleck on screen. Because I've been reading a lot of people been like, Oh, maybe this won't be so bad after all. When before it was... Ben Affleck? That's Batman. I dare say good man. What an adorably atrocious choice. Oh, no, he was he already daredeviled. Wasn't it a colossal failure? I dare say, I don't think I can stomach that as... I, I could not stomach that rabscallion as Batman. But now everybody's changed. So, yeah, there's that. We all have these opinions, 
And they all end up either being, you know, most of the time, they end up not being true. They end up, everything ends up being fine and people are happy. That may be the case here. So, yeah, I'm not going to say it again. But regardless, guys, tell me what you think. What do you think of Rancid Joker, Punk Rock Joker, Manson Joker, whatever you want to call this Joker? What do you think of him? Tell me. And while you're at it, tell me who your favorite Joker is. Is it Ledger? Is it Hamill? Is it Nicholson? Is it Romero? Who? Tell me who your favorite Joker is and why. And also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and most of all, share. <laughs> oh god, that's creepy. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, you won't be seeing Steve Turbo cast as Joker anytime soon. So, with that said, this is uh this has been Steve Turbo. And uh Let's just wait for the trailer. Turbo out.